I'm making this video to show you a few interesting details about the Heart of the Woods quest in Skellige. My throat is a little sore, so forgive me if I don't sound too well. But anyway, it's the quest you stumble upon in Fairland, where the locals are arguing about how to handle the murder committed by what they call the Woodland Spirit. He doesn't give a rat's arse about paths or tracks or me or you. Which later turns out to be an ancient lesson. Before we begin, I'd like to say that this one is classed as a Witcher contract and as such is supposed to be one of the simpler and more straightforward quests. I solve problems. But that's not actually the case. There are several memorable and well-animated scenes, a large woodland area which has unique ambience, full of wolf howls, leshen and crow noises, as well as a couple of pieces of unique music, to which we'll get later. So it's a pretty well-made quest. But anyway, let's get to the details. First off, throughout the conversations with the Elder, we learn that this settlement has had a long history with the Woodland Spirit. Many generations of hunters have worshipped it, and in return it essentially helped train them, potentially at a high cost. Thanks to him the woods team with game, and our women bear strong babes. The power of the Woodland Spirit makes us the best hunters in the Isles. True. Not every lad who sets out to be a hunter survives the sacred ritual. But aren't witchers made at similar cost? The interesting part is that these facts are sort of reflected in the architecture of the village. Nearly every single house has a leshen skull hanging over its door. Or a leshen mask, if you will. Needless to say, I went around and visited every single other major settlement on Ard's Kellig, and I couldn't find a single house that has a Leshen skull over its door. Now, I don't want to make any definitive statements, because there might be another Leshen skull over a door somewhere else in Skellige, but clearly the ones we see in Fairland are no accident. Now, another thing we learned from the Elder is that the people have strayed from the old ways and that is why the spirit is punishing them by brutally killing them. We must return to the old path, restore the old ways. This fact might also be tied to Hilda. You all dressed up for me, Hildy. Maybe for you, maybe for another. Come over later, I might be home. She is the woman whom uh, Sven is in love with. Will Sven visit today? <laughs> of course he will. I've seen him looking at you. Pull that one in, Hilda. <laughs> Don't let him get away. Eventually, we learn that Hilda was the one marked by the Leshen, but we never learn why. Now, her house does not have a Leshen skull above the door. Instead, it only has a single horn, and we can find another piece of the pair in a bucket on the ground. So, could this mean she was marked because she disrespected the old traditions or something? Who knows? But if not, it's an interesting coincidence. And speaking of this whole marking business, the point of it is to ensure that the Leshen is reborn, even if you kill it. The Leshen's marked one of you. As long as that individual lives near its domain, the beast can't be killed, not completely. Sooner or later, it'll be reborn. So as long as the marked individual is alive or nearby, the spirit can't truly die. Now sadly, I couldn't find a way to kill it without killing or banishing Hilda, the totems which summon the Leshen simply aren't available if you don't progress the quest past the Hilda point, but I do have an interesting detail about it brought to you by one of my viewers. His name is Mostly Cloudy, and he pointed out that a multitude of Leshen skulls can be found all around the Leshen's altar, where you perform the ritual in case you side with the Elder, which might indicate that this spirit has been reborn multiple times over the many generations. We have a pretty good scene here, by the way, well animated, and it has music which I don't think plays anywhere else in the game. And of course, 
we have to mention the rather creepy detail of the Leshen himself observing you while performing the ritual. Now here is something else, also incredibly cool, which I've heard three or maybe four times over the years. In fact, mostly Cloudy himself told me about it as well. And it's the fact that apparently, once you perform the ritual, crows will show up to warn you whenever there's danger nearby. Apparently when you approach enemies or something, they will fly above and call. Sadly, I'm not able to confirm that. I roamed all over the place, around the village, in other places on Artskelig, and even some of the other islands. And this was immediately after performing the ritual, and then several days after performing it. And I never noticed any crows showing up or making noises to warn me about anything. I got into several fights, I did the contract in Arimbjorn, I encountered a couple of notable monsters, and the only ones I was able to see and hear were those that were already in the woods of the Leshen near the village. So I don't know if this is simply not working on PC or I'm doing something else wrong, but for some reason I can't see this happening. Feel free to try it yourselves, of course, and report your findings in the comments. Okay, here are another couple of things you may have missed in the end of the quest. First off, if you side with Sven and kill the Leshen, he will always end up killing the Elders. But if you perform the ritual, you will return before the Chief Elder has been killed and you'll have the option to save him. He actually accepts his fate quite well. Death's but another stage in the cycle. I embrace it. But if you choose to intervene, you gotta be careful because he can still be killed during the fight. So if you truly want to save him, you gotta be quick. And then, after the quest is complete, there is yet another piece of unique music that to my knowledge cannot be heard anywhere else in the game, not even if you take the alternative path and kill the Leshen. Finally, I tried returning to the village a couple of weeks later after all the different outcomes and I didn't notice any significant differences. Sven is there if you killed the Leshen, the Elder is there thanking you if you sided with him and none of them can be seen if both of them ended up dying. Perhaps something curious is that if you decided to fight Sven but then you let him kill the Elder and run away, no matter how much later you return, he will still be there, aggressive, willing to fight you. Ah! All together. Ah! And so, that's all I had for today. Let me know what you think of all this, and especially if you have any clues about the part where crows are supposed to help you after siding with the lesson. Okay, so if you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a like, and until the next one, which will likely be the review of episode 1, from the second season of the Netflix Witcher show. Thank you very much for watching. Special thanks to my supporters and YouTube members. Stay tuned and be good. Oh, and I almost forgot to include this, but there is another curious thing about this quest, and it's this guy. What's interesting about him is, first, he has a unique model, and that has to mean something because you know how often CDPR reuses NPC models for the side characters, so, why is this guy unique? Not only does he look unique, but he is also called Bjorn, he's a named NPC. And I cannot recall seeing him in any other scene, in any other quest. When you interact with him, he just has generic lines, so nothing special. Fresh smile upon you. Perhaps he was once part of a quest which was removed, or maybe there was initially more to this one, who knows?
If you know anything more about him, please let us know. It's always been about you. Only you. It sure seemed like it was about the coin in there. Syria. If it wasn't, you shouldn't have accepted it. <laughs>